Merry Christmas. My name is Father Charles. I'm the director of the Catholic Information Center here in Washington, D.C., just three blocks away from the White House. When I was in Bethlehem and I saw all those hills around the town, I thought to myself, there, on one of those hills, the, the angel appeared to the shepherds and told them, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. And the shepherds went to meet the Holy Family and they found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. There is the secret for their joy, for our joy, for our happiness, for our peace, for the peace of all society. Jesus Christ, our Savior. We, you and I have received this treasure through our faith, and we want to keep it and to experience it in a deeper way today. I remember this Christmas Spanish carol that goes this way, the ox complained to the donkey, that's the title, the ox complained to the donkey, move up a little my friend, I want to look at the baby and your ears are blocking my view. Saint Joseph, though he was so good, was at the end of his patience. If you don't keep quiet, ox, if you don't keep still, donkey, I will throw you out of the stable. What a great attitude for us to have during these days. We want to look at the baby and adore him and contemplate this great mystery. This is the core of Christmas. This is why we celebrate it. I'm saying that because many times our society has emptied this celebration from its meaning. Why do we celebrate Christmas? Because of Santa? No. Because of Frosty? No. Because of the shopping mall decorations full of lights and music? No. Because of the birth of our Savior. And we want to transmit it to others. There is a memory in my heart that I always keep very close to me, which is the, a family singing Christmas carols around the nativity scene, or maybe saying a few prayers, or a family decorating their house really well but having Jesus at the center. How do you greet other people during this Christmas season? Merry Christmas! I'm saying that because so many times people greet each other with words that are kind of empty. They show the envelope, the externals, but not the core of the celebration. Let's make sure that our faith explodes towards others and we rejoice as the shepherds did. When St. Luke says that when they left Bethlehem, the shepherds praised God and rejoiced for all what they had heard and seen. Let's hope that you and I, during this Christmas season that lasts until the baptism of our Lord that we will celebrate on January 9th of 2022, by the way, my birthday as well. <laughs> Let's hope that you and I keep this faith and, this, and, and Jesus at the center of our lives so that we bring this joy, this happiness to all our society. May God bless you. May God bless America and Merry Christmas.